Welcome dear, to this presentation of uh, Miranda. We are going to uh, see how to use uh, challenge. Uh, so I'm going to open the player mode. So the player mode is a uh, limited mode um, in which you can only uh, use a challenge and not uh, create challenges, nor modify existing challenges. So I'm going to open a challenge for the Edison robot. So here is a challenge. We have to write program for uh, three Edison robots, A, B and C. Uh, the challenge consists uh, to make the uh, first uh, Edison robot go through the uh, gate number one and then the robot A and B go through uh, gate number two and finally the robot A B and C go through the gate number three. Uh, for each of these robots I can uh, program uh, with Scratch or Python. Uh, so I'm going to make a very uh, small program to make a try with Scratch. Let's try like this. Okay. First level is finished. Okay. Second level finished. Okay, not so bad for a very simple program. Of course, I have to make a much more uh, complex one to accomplish uh, this challenge, but this is only uh, to uh, make you understand how it works. Okay, I'm going to uh, quit this uh, player mode. And log in with my customer ID and password. So in this mode, uh, this is uh, uh, a teacher mode. It means that uh, I can access to uh, more functionalities. Um, by example, I can open the solution for a challenge. I have two versions, the solution with Scratch and the solution with Python. Let's have a look to the solution with Scratch. So this is uh, the same challenge, of course, but I have the programs for each of the robots. We can try the challenge to see if it works. Okay, so first Edison robot is going to go through the gate number one. Of course, the program right turn uh, follows the line. We can have a look at the program for the second Edison robot. And just let it start. Okay, the program is a little bit more complex. It wait that. Uh, First robot uh, is detected in front of the second robot to make the second robot start and it's almost the same for the third robot. Okay, now my three robots are following the line. Each time a robot uh, goes through the gate in the right order, a uh, new level is finished. There is six level, and finally the challenge is finished. Okay, uh, we can have a look at the uh, Python solution as well. So this is almost the same, but we have, of course, Python program instead of Scratch for each robot. Okay, so here is how the challenges are working in Miranda. Uh, another interesting thing, if you are a teacher, is that you can uh, survey your students. So you can create uh, 
ID and password for each of your students or group of students. And you can see uh, for each username uh, challenges that uh, the students have used, the last date of uh, this uh, use, also the number of try uh, each student uh, uh, have uh, uh, made for um, each uh, challenge, and also the level reached for each student. For example, we, uh, we use a challenge uh, called Edison 1 and uh, we have uh, released uh, level 2 on 6. So, uh, this is uh, very convenient because you can uh, uh, survey your, your students and know if they have progressed and uh, uh, which, uh, which challenges uh, have been uh, uh, used and uh, the date and the number of tries and uh, the level which so it's uh, very convenient for for you to to see if your students uh, made some progress on the different challenges okay thank you very much uh, to 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 have seen this uh, presentation and uh, we hope you are going to try uh, soon uh, miranda